welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I would love to have you subscribe, like, comment, and if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. So today's video, I have taken an idea from another creator here on this platform. Her name is Micah. Her channel name is Floating in Dreams. I will definitely have her channel linked in my description box. Now, I've been watching Micah for, I think, close to two years now, and she is one of my absolute favorite creators here on this platform. She is my absolute makeup guru. She is a literal makeup encyclopedia. She knows everything, and I mean everything about makeup, whether it's high-end, drugstore, eyeshadows, base products, blush, eyeliner, mascara, lipstick, everything. And she does a lot of really fun things on her channel. She has a lot of varied content. Um, she'll show like uh, Shop My Stash videos. She will rank palettes. She will show like the last uh, 10 palettes that she's used over like a month's time span. And she'll show you the looks that she created with the palettes, which I think is really, really helpful. She does like lipstick swatching videos. I mean, everything makeup related. She's just amazing. She has the best makeup collection too. And she also does really fun fashion videos as well. And I love her taste in clothes. And I tell her all the time when I watch her fashion videos that I want to live in her closet. But she does live in the Netherlands and I live in Oregon so I think she's safe. I mean you know I could always swim over there but I just think it would be so fun like when she comes home from work and I'm just hanging out in her closet. She'd be like okay. But anyway she's just wonderful. I love her. I learn something new every single time I watch her videos and I just thought it would be really fun to just take one of her video ideas and I did tell her I was going to do this. Uh, she did this video not very long ago and I said in the comment section I said I really want to do this on my channel and she said go for it. So what she did was she showed her bottom five ColourPop products and then her top five ColourPop products. And I thought, ooh, that would be so much fun. I love ColourPop. ColourPop is one of my absolute favorite brands. Now I do have five things in the bottom here. Now I wanna say, I don't hate these products. They're actually really beautiful products, but they just do not work well for me. They might work well for everybody else, but for whatever reason, I can't figure it out. They just don't really work well for me. Now I'm never gonna come on my channel and like bash a brand or a product. Um, you know, I just don't really see any need to do that. I mean, who am I to say? Like, I don't make makeup products. And I do think that each brand is entitled to create something that they love and is their dream and their vision. And I don't want to like knock that down or be negative. But like I said, these are just things from ColourPop that just don't work very well for me. So I'm gonna start off with my bottom five products and then end with my top five products, kind of end on a high note here. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you are ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. Now this is in the shade Sailor and this is in Tea Party. Now, I saw a creator, I can't even remember now who it was, use Super Shock Shadows on their channel. And I was like, oh, those look amazing. They're beautiful, they're very duochrome multi-chrome-y, and they're like butter. I mean, they have the best, coolest texture. So I got this one first, used this about five or six times, and it just would not adhere to my lid. So I thought, well, I'll get another color. <laughs> like, what difference is it gonna make? So I got this one too, I've used this twice. And they just don't work. I don't know what it is. They just kind of lift off my lid or they become like really creasy or almost like kind of like, um, I don't know, like little chunks of shadow just kind of form on my eyelid. And I have tried every single eyeshadow primer I can think of from NYX Proof It all the way up to the P. Louise eyeshadow base and everything in between. They just don't adhere. I don't know what it is. I don't know if any of you have uh, experiences like that with the Super Shock shadows, but if you do, I would love to hear about it in the comment section, and maybe we can devise a plan to get these damn things to stick on our eyelids. The next product that is in my bottom five, this is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade Light 01, I think. I don't have my glasses on. Now, I understand this is a tinted moisturizer. Okay, I get it. I have a lot of tinted moisturizers. I have uh, the Maybelline BB Cream. I have the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I have that on my face today, which is my favorite. I have like the Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Hydrator. I have um, a Revlon uh, BB Cream, CC Cream, something like that. And you know, I get it. It's a very light coverage uh, base product. I know that. But this has no coverage at all, zero. It's literally like just putting a moisturizer on your face with no tint to it at all, none. And I just was kind of disappointed because I'd heard so many people talk about how wonderful this is. Now I'm older and I have more mature skin. And so I do like a lighter coverage base product because it doesn't sink into my fine lines and wrinkles. And I just think it looks more, I don't know, natural or less makeup-y. I mean, that kind of sounds kind of dumb because I'm wearing makeup. But I, I guess I just don't like the real cakey look because as I've aged, that just doesn't look very attractive on me. But this has, like I said, no 
coverage at all. I was like, what is this? Is this a joke? Um, is this some kind of like phantom product? I don't know. Is it invisible? But it is pretty much invisible. So I think I'm going to give this to my daughter. Now I do have, like I said, the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I'm going to grab that. And if you look at the shade difference, I mean, yeah, this one may be a little bit darker than the ColourPop one, maybe a little bit, but not much. And this one has much better coverage than this does. I mean, I know they're two different brands and they're two different products sort of, but I don't know. I was just so disappointed in this because I, like I said, I'd heard so many great things about it. So yeah, I think I'm done. I'm going to give this one to my daughter. So Sid, this one's coming right at you, baby. My third ColourPop product that just does not work for me in my bottom five, this is the Velvet Luxe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Fatale. Now, I did use this this morning. Um, I do have the Flutter by palette on my lids today, and I use this as my lipstick. Now, here's the thing. This is a gorgeous color, and I really like the formula of this liquid lipstick. I mean, you put this on, it's very soft. Um, you can't really even feel it on your lips. It just feels like nothing. Um, but the problem is, is that it ends up looking like nothing after about 15 or 20 minutes after I apply this. So I did like a little test today. I put this on, I got in my car, went to work. And when I got to my office, I put my mask on and I pushed on my mask on my lips and I took the mask off and there was nothing there. Now I realize with some liquid lipsticks, they don't transfer, but there was nothing left on my lips. I went to the bathroom and like really inspected my lips. There was nothing on my lips so it's almost like my lips sucked it right in or i don't know i mean i didn't lick it off i didn't eat anything i hadn't drank anything i don't know but i love this color so much and i like i said i love the formula so i keep using this i mean you know I've, you know there's a kind of a bit of that missing now but uh i don't know it just does not stay on my lips for longer than about 15 or 20 minutes so i do want to try like another shade and see if it does the same thing i don't know if you guys have experience with that uh with this particular liquid lipstick i would love to hear it if you do um, cause sometimes I feel like I'm losing my mind, but I know I put this on. I mean, I took pictures and put it on Instagram and you could see it when I put my pictures up on Instagram. But then, like I said, 15 to 20 minutes later, poof, gone, bye bye In my last two spots in my bottom five, I have two eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop. The first one is the High Society palette. Now I've shown this before. I've talked about this before that it's not my favorite. And I got all of these actually. I got this one, the blue one, the purple one, and then I got the pink and the orange one. I gave the pink and the orange one to my daughter and she loves those. And I love the purple one. I just used that one not very long ago. It's called Cashmere Forever and it was lovely. I love the mattes. I love the shimmers. Now I did use this palette and the blue one. I have the blue one also. It's called, uh, rumor has it. Yeah, I think it's called Rumor Has It. And uh, I used those together in a video early on on my channel. Now the look came together fine, but the formula of these eyeshadows, they're just not the typical ColourPop formula. I was really disappointed. The mattes are very dusty. They just kind of blend away to nothing. You have to put a ton on and keep like, well, I think what it is, is I think you kind of have to like pack the eyeshadow on rather than blend it. I don't know if that makes any sense. But like when you start to blend, they just kind of and fly off and then when you tap your brush off watch out I mean it's like a rain of eyeshadow comes down on you even if you don't have a whole ton of eyeshadow on the brush and then the shimmers are kind of flaky um they're pretty I mean they end up looking fine but I just felt like it took a lot more work than was necessary for this little palette and I do think this is a gorgeous color story now I'm not going to declutter this because I've used it once I think I need to use it a couple more times I want to try it with like maybe a different technique like I said the packing on of the eyeshadow rather than the over blending and see if maybe that will work but yeah, this was very disappointing. But like I said, I'm going to use it again and see what I think. And then my last palette in my bottom five from ColourPop, and this breaks my heart, and I've talked about this a couple of times on my channel. This is the Garden Variety palette. Now look how beautiful the packaging is. This is so pretty. This is like the perfect springtime palette. The color story is gorgeous. However, we have the culprit here. That's the Super Shock Shadow. It does not work for me. And I have a pretty good dip in there because I have tried like everything, like getting a spoon out and like shoveling it onto my lid. It just does not work. The mattes in this palette are nice. They're very pretty. They work fine. But the shimmers, they kind of suck, honestly. This one here, I've said this before, this is this beautiful green shimmer. I think it's called, what, Bed Bugs? Best, best Buds. Bed Bugs? Oh my god. The problem is, is that when you apply them to my lids anyway, they're kind of chalky. It's like the shimmer just doesn't really stand out. It becomes like this um, kind of almost like opaque, not shimmery shadow. And I was so stunned and shocked by that because I've said before too, Paulina Beauty created a couple looks with this on her channel and they were gorgeous. And I thought, why is mine not performing like hers is? So I don't know, like I said, I may have gotten a bad palette, 
but this was so disappointing, so underwhelming, and uh, I think I am going to be decluttering this. Um, I am going to be doing an eyeshadow palette and declutter video soon, hopefully within like the next week or two. <laughs> I have a bunch of videos I need to film, um, but I just felt like coming on here and chatting with you guys rather than putting on my makeup. Uh, just kind of wasn't in the mood for that. Anyway, um, I think I am going to declutter this. I don't know. I hate doing that, but yeah, I just, I don't think I'm ever going to use this again. All right, now we're on to the top five from ColourPop. Woohoo! This is the roll of ColourPop cream gel liners that I have. I love how this comes. It just is like this little leather roll. It's not probably not real leather, pleather. And then you just kind of, you know, roll that around there. Isn't that cute? I think this would be really fun to travel with if we can ever travel. I'm taking this to the UK with me when I go see staff at some point in my life. But these are just so fun to use. They're so opaque. They stay so well in the waterline. That blows me away because I have kind of watery eyes and I don't know that they last like, you know, for 24 hours or anything like that, but they pretty much last all day, like a good eight hour work day. I'll put these on in the morning and then when I come home at night, you can still see them in my waterline, which is very impressive. And I just think all the colors are really fun. Steph has a set. Um, I saw her use one in her last Comic Chameleon on Saturday morning and it's kind of like a mustard yellow and uh, I think there's like a couple different sets of these with like different tones and ugh, I want to get that set too. This was like $15. I got this on sale and I am using the crap out of these. I just love them. They're so fun. So if you haven't picked these up yet, I'm pretty sure this exact set is still on uh, the ColourPop website. I don't know if it's for sale, but they have a few of these sets and they have one that's like huge. There's like, I don't know what, like a hundred or something or 50 or I don't know. There's a lot and I'm really thinking I need to get that, but I need to control myself because this works just fine. These are the colors that I need and would use the most. I need to relax, calm down, put my wallet away and throw my phone across the room. <laughs> the next product in my top five from ColourPop is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. Now this is in the shade Fair 10N, and this is such a lovely concealer. Now one of the main reasons why I like this so much is because I have quite a bit of fine lines and wrinkles under my eyes. Yes, I do even though I try to convince myself that I don't. But this doesn't really settle in those areas. Um, and if it does, I just take a small sponge and just kind of clear that area out, um, just kind of blend it out more. And it doesn't like sink back in to those little fault lines there. And that's one of the things I love the most about this. And also you don't have to set this. It dries down really nicely. It's not like super emollient or like uh, oily or greasy looking. You know, sometimes you put on a concealer and it looks like, ooh, geez. And so you kind of have to go over it with powder. This, you really don't have to do that with. And it blends out beautifully. It's very brightening. And I think this is a perfect formula. And I'm just so glad that I got this because it was really affordable. I mean, I can't remember how much it was, but it didn't like make me scream and freak out. So I'm sure it was probably like hmm, around 10 or $12. And I said, and it works so beautifully. I love having this in my collection. The third product in my top five from ColourPop, these are the lippy sticks from ColourPop. Now this one is in the shade Oh Behave. I get the lid off. It was upside down. <laughs> this is this like beautiful deep brown shade. I'll swatch this on the back of my hand. This is so gorgeous. It's very like emollient um, and creamy feeling, but it's also kind of like a matte lipstick. It's almost kind of a dichotomy, but it's so beautiful on the lips and I love the pigmentation and it lasts really well. I mean, it's a lipstick. So like if you eat or drink, it's not going to stay around forever, but I do think these look really nice on the lips and I just really like how the formula feels and just the shade is beautiful. And then I also have this one. This is called Jam Sesh. I can figure out which the, there we go. <laughs> this is a beautiful red lipstick and I'll swatch this next to the, I mean, look how beautiful that is. It's kind of like a berry red, like almost maybe like a cranberry. And I love using these, both of these. I was going to use actually one of these in the video tonight, but my lips are so freaking chapped. It's freezing here. It was 16 degrees here this morning. And so my lips are just going to hell in a handbasket. So I just put a bunch of gloss on. But yeah, these are both really, really nice. Um, my daughter is a huge fan of the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. So she talked me into getting a couple of these. Um, they have these on sale all the time on the ColourPop website. So I highly recommend picking these up. Um, they're just really nice little lipsticks. I mean, I love little components and um, they're just really fun to use and they're beautiful. And like, look at the swatches. Hello, they're lovely. Now I have two eyeshadow palettes that are in my top five products from ColourPop. Now this was really hard for me to choose because I have a ton, and I mean a ton of ColourPop palettes, but I thought it would be fun to show you one of my favorite neutral palettes from the brand and also one of my favorite colorful palettes from the brand. So let's start off with this one. This is the That's Taupe palette. Now I was going to show you the Stone Cold Fox palette. And I thought, how many freaking times are you going to show that palette on your channel? I mean, I probably will show it again, but not today. 
So this is such a beautiful, cool toned palette. I love it. The shimmers, the mattes, everything about this palette says classy, hottie, babe. And I love creating looks with this. Very easy to use. There's no guesswork. We have the deepening options, the beautiful shimmers, the lightening options. I mean, it's just such a fun palette. And I'm so glad I have this in my collection. And Micah is a huge, cool toned eyeshadow palette fan. So like I said, if you want to learn something new, go to her channel. because She's got a ton of really fun uh, videos about cool toned eyeshadow palettes. Now, the colorful palette that I chose, this is the It's My Pleasure, and this is one of my very favorite ColourPop palettes. I just think this is so gorgeous. Now, you know, it is more monochromatic. It's not super exciting, I guess, but I do think it's very exciting because you do have very different tones in here. This shade right here is a very duochrome shade. It's kind of like a brown to purple flip. It's so cool. This shade here is this very vibrant, beautiful purple satin. This one's gorgeous. I mean, that's pretty. They're all beautiful, and it's so much fun to get this palette out and use it and I haven't used this in a long time so I think I'm gonna pull this out maybe use it in the next week or so like I have a few purple color storied palettes but this to me I don't know why but just the way the colors are arranged and just kind of the different tones it just really is unique to me and I think even though it's like a smaller palette there's only nine shades I still feel like you can do a lot of different things with this and I'm just so happy that I have up my collection and I love it so much so those were my bottom five ColourPop products and my top five ColourPop products. I would love to know if you guys have any of these products, if you agree with me. Um, I would love to know what's in your bottom five from ColourPop and your top five from the brand. It's so fun to talk about makeup. And like I said, I'm going to have Micah, Floating in Dreams, my inspiration for this video. I will have her channel linked in my description box. Please go to her channel and subscribe and watch her. Like I said, she is one of my absolute favorite creators on this platform. She's so fun to watch, so brilliant, such a genius. She's beautiful. She's fun. She's just the best of everything on this platform, and I love her to pieces. So please go to her channel, subscribe, and watch her videos. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your busy day or evening to sit down and watch my video. It always means the world to me. If you have subscribed or you would like to subscribe, do not forget to hit the notification bell. That way you're aware of all of my future uploads. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video, but in the meantime, please take care of yourself, be well, safe, happy, and I can't wait to see you guys again very soon. Thanks again, you guys. Take care. Bye.